Hello everybody, this is Becky Gregg and I'm getting ready to make some coasters. I picked up some tiles at our hardware store and they're very inexpensive. The hexagons are a little more expensive than usual. I will put all of the, um, you know, the materials in the description of the video so that you guys can uh, see, you know, so I don't have to explain here what I'm, you know, doing and I won't have to talk so much. But basically I'm stirring up the pillow paint. I added some pigments to it. So, um, and then I have some iridescent paints that um, I, I wanted to try and see if it, they, you know, whenever they dry, if they do actually look pearlescent. But, um, time, you know, we'll see about that. But I really don't like to talk a lot, so I'm just going to let you watch and I will kind of narrate as we go. Here I'm just stirring up the paints because I mixed these last night and they set overnight and they need to be re-stirred. And these are Amsterdam brand. I think they came in uh, red, blue, or not red, it's violet, blue, green, and yellow. And I will probably skip this part, so you don't have to watch me stirring. So here we go. My pillow paint has got a tint of pink in it. It's not a real dark pink. I just wanted to have some contrast. In this first one, I think you'll notice that I did actually blow it crooked. I didn't get everything square in the middle. But that happens and that's okay. I allow myself some mistakes because that makes it unique. They can't all look the same. Here I'm just layering on the individual paints and my cell activator is Amsterdam turquoise and it's a beautiful turquoise color I wanted to have something different I'm just adding the cell activator to the center. And now I'm going to blow it. Like I said, I kind of got off a little bit, but it still turned out great. I originally made this video for my granddaughter and in the video I'm actually talking to her but um, now I'm getting ready to um, spin it but before I do that I like to take a straw and blow out any of the puddles that the cell activator makes and if you blow down into it it will make more cells.
And see, you don't always have to get right in the center. You can actually, you know, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be centered uh, as long as you get the cells that you, you want. And here I'm just trying to add some details to it, add some lines, just kind of wreck it a little bit, give it some character. And the first one is done. I apologize I didn't make it close up at that time but I do make the others coming up um, I do show close-ups of those and I will show you what they each look like at the end of the video Sometimes the pigments don't get mixed in really good, so you, you really got to stir it good. And actually, I recommend not using pigments to tint your pillow paint. I recommend using actual paint because it takes a lot more pigment to change the color than it does paint. This I learned today. I believe this next one is going to be a little more centered. And I added a little more Floetrol because my cell activator had set overnight and it didn't seem to be working as well as I wanted it to, so I added just a tad bit more of the Australian Floetrol so that um, it would do better at making cells and it really did work. And you really don't need a whole lot. Just put a little tiny dot in the center and blow. And this time I blew a lot better. And you really gotta get down and blow off to the side. And then if, like I said, if there's some puddles in the center, you can blow it out or you can use a straw. And then you can um, play around with it, make some designs if you want, or you don't have to. You can just leave it, but it makes those cells beautiful. And here, in case you didn't notice, I got some, um, I don't know what you call it, it's some gelled um, Floetrol or gelled paint, but you have to kind of scrape that out. This one really turned out beautiful. I do two more, but uh, rather than make you sit here and watch it, um, I will show you what they look like in the end.
One thing I do want to show you is that I do save all of my paint that, is, uh, that has been spun off and that is on the spinner because I use it in my next pillow. So I just scrape it. I use a um, wooden stick and I scrape it into, the, into a cup and stir it in and just keep using it. And that's what I'm doing here.